One, two, three, not only you and me, got 180 degrees and I'm caught in between. Uh, EA FC TV catching up with uh, the ever elusive luxury player Dave Risk, uh, the whippersnapper Case Skelton, and uh, clean sheet Leighton uh, on the end, uh, back from, from the farmland to. Uh, to put in what is another a third in a row clean sheet, Tom. Uh, obviously, we we are through to the next round, but coming to you first, happy with the clean sheets more than anything. Yeah, very much so. I would like to say it's a team effort, the clean sheets. So nice of you to point out that I've been a part of those three clean sheets, but um, I think we'd all like to contribute towards that. What we did? No. <laughs> really. About no, goals. More, yeah, I was going to say, Dave. More, more about the goals. Slightly disappointed by Andrew's uh, injury to have to go back. Very disappointing, actually. Um, I've got a bone to pick on the two idiots who spoke last week, uh, thinking they're like some sort of clowns. Um, firstly, Greg, who says that anyone could score with this midfield behind them. Well, I played up front, and he'll admit that three or four times he could have rolled me in, and he's overhit it. Fucking useless. And uh, Powsey, who was giving it the big one last week as well, injured himself in training, injured himself 20 minutes into the game, forced me to play at the back. His best involvement was getting booked from the sideline <laughs> with 10 minutes to go. So, uh, yeah, I think they need to have a long, hard look at themselves. Uh, Kate. You've got a uh, level head to your right uh, with the clean sheets. You've got a very angry Dave back out uh, on your left uh, in the middle there. Um, what, were, what were your thoughts on the game? Oh, we played well. Kept the ball nicely at times. Not hard with the win, but Carl McLean very solid at the back, which will please Tom. And going forward, we were interchangeable as ever, which will please the luxury player. Um, a, few, a few players missing. Um, Tom, you think it will be uh, difficult for them to get back in the squad? Um... Well, it's, I mean, it's hard to change a winning team, isn't it? And I think... Uh... Especially like not having a keeper this week, I think Stu's going to find it hard to get back in. Um, what Dolly's kicking was particularly good today, especially with his boots on and the wind. Um, but uh, it's, it's good that everyone's chipping in, doing their bit. And um, yeah, you wouldn't have known that we we missed our top scorer and a few other players like a couple of centre backs as well. So um, yeah, good team effort all round, chipped in. Um, obviously doing well in uh, all three competitions. Um, aspirations, obviously, to, to try and win as much as possible. But uh, realistically, Dave, what uh, what do you see for uh, Egham Athletic this season? I don't really care, to be honest. As long as Greg gets dropped next week, um, and George Powell's will probably out for a couple of seasons again now. You know what he's like when he gets an injury. Um, you know, whatever, just enjoying the football. Um, I'd like to see Russ Finder back next week. You know, yeah, he's your top scorer. Um, yeah, Stu might have to wait for his place or, or battle it out for a position, maybe as a wing-back. Well, um... <laughs> Obviously, that, that's up to the, to the gaff to decide. Uh, one decision that he, he has made uh, is that um, although there were, was a hat-trick scored by someone, um, he's not getting man of the match. Um, but the, uh, the young whippersnapper out on the right wing has been nominated as man of the match for a sterling performance. So, Dave, if you'd like to be honest, there's a, a soft drink for the fact that he's uh, not actually allowed to drink yet. Great <laughs> Um, and, and Cade, what, what you can do for me is you can uh, grab the fez and it's going to one of these two people now. It was, it was a close call. It was either um, preemptively the fact that Angry Dave was going to lash out and just get the fez straight away. Um, but there are rumours that um, Mr Tom Layton has been abusive on Twitter. It's the only way that it can be described. Um, and uh, he needs to wind it in, was uh, a couple of comments. Um, and also, everyone thinks he soups it. So uh, this Can week, I also oh. point out that he also thought there was a chance he, oh, and yeah. Powsey and myself were going to be up front this week. And I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> I, w I would say, I mean, just going by the form in training, I mean, my goal was, you know, it, it doesn't, need, doesn't need comment, really. I mean, we um, knew what was going to score, but Tom, very good point. However, that goal did come after your comment, not before. The other way around <laughs> would have been a lot better. Um, cheers, guys. Dancing there by the record machine. I knew she must have been about 17. Feet going strong, playing my favorite song. I could tell it wouldn't be long, she was me, yeah, me. Tell it wouldn't be long, she was me, yeah, me. Singing, I love rock and roll. Putting up a diamond at you, my baby. I love rock and roll. Come on, sit down and dance with me. 